What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Chad's Barbecue. My name is Bradley Robinson and today I'm going to show you how I made these beautiful, delicious, crispy skin, perfect chicken wings for your next football party. Also, if you want to learn how to take a barbecue cooking class with me and the whole gang at Leroy and Lewis, be sure to stick around to the end of this video. Coming up! Chicken wings, probably my favorite food, definitely top three. And with a big game right around the corner, it might as well be National Chicken Wing Day. And I tell you what, if you're not cooking chicken wings at your football party, pff, I'm not going to your house. But cooking chicken wings at home can be a bit daunting because having a big pot of oil on a burner can be real messy, stink up the house, and can be rather dangerous. So that being said, today I'm gonna to show you my method for making super quick and easy chicken wings that takes half the time as other techniques, doesn't require any special ingredients, and comes out absolutely fantastic. That's right folks, today we're frying up some chicken wings and it is going to be delicious. These are some chicken wings. Oh yeah, pat them dry. And I really like getting the full wing as opposed to the ones that are already cut up for you. And that's just because if you get the pre-cut ones, they're a lot more likely to be different sizes, different shapes, and because they're handled more, you're a lot more likely to get broken bones. Not to mention, buying the full wing is often a lot cheaper than buying pre-cut wings because you don't have to pay someone to do the extra step when you can just do it yourself. Real simple to do. Just aim between the joints with a rather heavy knife. Nothing to it. And if you're like me and you like making stock, these wing tips are perfect for enhancing any homemade stock. And just like that, all of our wings are trimmed up and ready to go in the fryer. No flour or anything needed for this one. We're doing naked wings today. Tip number two for making great chicken wings at home or any fried food for that matter is getting yourself an outdoor fryolator. This is a Bayou Classic 2.5 gallon deep fryer and this thing is great. And they're not sponsoring me or anything like that. I've had this for years before I started making videos. But the main reason I love it is because it's outside, meaning you're not gonna stink up your house. And because it's propane powered, it's gonna heat up a lot quicker than an electric one and you don't have to worry about having an outlet nearby. But another reason to get one of these is that the heating element runs through the oil as opposed to being heated from the bottom. It's basically a blowtorch that runs through this tube, which is suspended in the middle of the oil, meaning the hottest part of the oil is right where the basket sits, and down here at the bottom stays a little bit cooler, which works out really well because if you have a pot of oil on a burner or something, all the debris and extra flour and anything you're cooking is going to fall down to the bottom of the pot, which is at its hottest, meaning it's going to burn, giving your oil bad taste and discoloration, where with a fryer like this, your oil will last a lot longer and taste better. Also, the big basket is great for crowds. So all we need to do now is throw our wings in. But first, this video is brought to you by Magic Spoon. If you're looking to eat a little bit healthier this year and maintain those New Year's resolutions, Magic Spoon is a great place to start. They're the high protein cereal brand that is high protein, keto friendly, wheat free, soy free, grain free, and gluten free. They're naturally flavored and totally delicious for all of your childlike cereal cravings that is designed for grown-ups. With all the classic flavors like cocoa, cinnamon, peanut butter, frosted, fruity, cookies and cream, maple waffle, and blueberry. And you can buy whatever flavors you like or a variety pack. Cause who doesn't love a good bowl of cereal? Mmm. So if you're looking for a healthier breakfast alternative that still satisfies your childhood nostalgia, you need to try Magic Spoon. Head over to magicspoon.com slash chudsbarbecue or click the link in the description of this video taking you to magicspoon.com where you can use code chudsbarbecue to get $5 off any order. Again, that's magicspoon.com slash chudsbarbecue or click the link in the description of this video to go to magicspoon.com to try Magic Spoon today and get $5 off your order. Thank you, Magic Spoon. So the whole point of this technique is to put the wings into the oil while the oil is still cold and then crank up the heat. And the thought process behind this technique is it's kind of mimicking a double fry. Traditionally with a double fry, you'll cook whatever you're frying at a lower, more gentle temperature to cook it through and then flash fry it again to get that extra crispy exterior. But with this method, as the temperature of the oil gradually raises, it's gonna gently cook the wings and by the time we get up to 350, 375, they should be nice and golden and extra crispy. Which is a huge bonus because instead of having to wait 15 minutes for the oil to heat up and then another 15 minutes for the wings to cook, it happens in one foul swoop, making this a very efficient and quick way to cook some wings. Great for a football game and great for a weeknight dinner as well. And while these are coming up in temp, you definitely want to go through and give them a little jostle here and there to make sure nothing sticks together or sticks to the basket itself, which definitely can happen. Here we are about 10 minutes in. We're about up to 250 at this point and these are already looking nice and crispy. We're gonna keep going until we get up to about 350 or so. Ooh. 
And just like that, 15 minutes later, we've got ourselves some beautiful crispy chicken wings. Works every time. I mean, just look at the color on those. I don't know about you, but whenever I drop chicken wings into hot oil, they never really get this dark. Gotta love it. And yeah, they sound crispy. Into the bowl they go. Oh, listen to that sizzle. Gotta love it. Just look at that beautiful crispy wing. This one's for Chef John. Fork don't lie. But a buffalo wing isn't a buffalo wing until we hit it with some buffalo sauce. I'm a big fan of just a straight off the shelf Frank's Red Hot Buffalo Sauce. And that's because if I'm gonna make my own, I need to buy a bottle of hot sauce anyway, so I might as well go with the professional stuff. Because fermenting my own hot sauce is a topic for another video. Not to mention, if I do make my own buffalo sauce, I'm not gonna be happy unless it tastes just like this stuff. So, on we go, while they're still nice and hot. Smells so good. That being said, I also got this sent to me by one of y'all viewers. Rad sauce, buffalo wing sauce from Bass Brothers Collective. I believe they're from the Northeast. Cayenne pepper based sauce with Chesapeake Bay seasoning, maple syrup. That's hard to resist. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Beep. Buffalo sauce plus maple syrup. I'll give it a shot. Oh, hey, Carl. Hey, buddy. Your timing is impeccable. That smells delicious. Ooh, kind of love a good buffalo wing. You know what I mean? I do. Carl. Bradley. Can I interest you in some buffalo chicken wings? Never. I hate them. <laughs> Don't eat chicken until today. So these are just some naked fried, you know. Fair gotta, gotta keep it crispy. Yeah. These are your classic buffalo, and these are this red sauce that was sent to me from... The, the rad sauce? Does it say rad? Yeah. Man, I wish I could read better. Yeah, well, you were never hooked on phonics. That's very true. That's very true. Oh. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. That is lovely. Yeah. Mm. Much more uh, complex than your typical buffalo. Some sweetness to it. Yeah, and it's not burning your mouth off either. So. Yeah, that's always nice. The fans have been missing you, Carl. Family lock, bro. Yeah. Family lock. Are you a blue mm. cheese guy? Yes and no. Mm. Good blue cheese is good blue cheese. If it's not good, I ain't doing it. Mm. A little spicy, a little tangy, yeah. crispy. Yep. I once heard a, a fellow that was in his hundreds and, and they asked him what his secret sauce was and he said he ate hot dogs every day, so... Hmm. He was preserved from the nitrates. He, he was. In, all the way through. In and out. I do love a good naked wing, too. That's the only downside of chicken wings is they're great when they're sauced, but you often lose a lot of the crispiness when they're sauced. God, it never gets old. Never does. What's your favorite? Kind of the wing or the, or the, the drum? That's a tough one. You know, I have to always say the lame answer of I really like both because that's kind of the whole appeal of a wing is sure. you don't have to choose. Yep. For a long time I would say I'm a flat guy but sometimes you know just gnawing off a single bone hard to go wrong. Are you ready for the big game coming up? I don't think I'm allowed to say it. You know those three kids I have? Mm -hmm. They pretty much take all the sporting out of me. Yeah, I'm I'm out of I'm out of tune, folks. I just like football games for the food. Exactly. You know, food and beer can't go wrong food, with that. Food, beer, and the camaraderie. We're eating chicken wings on the internet. I think okay. people are gonna call us puny if we don't put something a little spicier on these. All right, I'm down. Yeah. I can give it a go. You ready for a dab? Yeah. This one's for Sean Evans. Oh boy, Sean, thanks a lot. I didn't realize I was walking into this. Oh, oh God. Boy. Oh, this is going to be a lot of lube right there. The day's about to take a turn. Well, gosh darn it. Is that too much? I don't know. We'll find out. The last dab. All right, brother man. Nice and fruity right off the bat. Yeah, it really is. Well, I can, Ooh. I can feel that coming though. Mm hmm. Oh, there it is. Woo. I wonder what's going to happen later. Oh, good God. That's building. That's building quicker and quicker. I can't believe Sean Which, Evans does this every week. If I don't talk, it's okay. Some blue cheese to wash that down. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's gonna burn on the way out. I just got a bidet, so that's gonna come in handy tomorrow. Yeah, that'll, that'll cool things off a bit. I'm gonna do another rad. Yeah, the rad sauce is rad good. Rad sauce, yeah. Take the bones right on out of there, and we'll do ourselves an official taste test. Boop. <laughs> I mean, does it get much better than that, folks? Mm. I would eat these every day if I could. So as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, Leroy and Lewis New School Barbecue University is back. The last weekend in February and the first weekend in March, Evan Leroy and I and the whole gang at Leroy and Lewis are doing two separate classes, three days each, where we'll do everything from briskets to beef cheeks, some pork ribs, some steaks, and you really get to see the inner workings of the top five rated barbecue joint here in Texas. Spots are filling up quick, but I've got one set aside that I get to give away to one of my Patreon members. So if you want a chance to win that, just 
just be sure to head over to my Patreon page, patreon.com slash Chud's Barbecue, and I'll be picking a winner very shortly. All right, y'all, and that is it. That is how to make some absolutely fantastic crispy skin chicken wings. I highly recommend giving this recipe a try. It's super simple, but with the proper technique, your next football party could be the tastiest one yet. But if you enjoyed this video, please let me know by hitting that subscribe button and liking the video. It really helps the channel grow. Drop a comment down below letting me know what you want to see me cook next. If you do give this technique a try for yourself, be sure to tag me on Instagram at Chud's Barbecue. I love to see what y'all are cooking. Big shout out to all the Patreon members. Thank you for supporting Team Chud and allowing me to keep making these videos. And until the next time I see you, please go cook something outside. Peace! Mmm.